This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. We are broadcasting from San Antonio, Texas, from the studios of Tiger TV at Trinity University, with an entire student crew, which we thank profusely. We end today's show with Graciela Sanchez, director of the Esperanza's Peace and Justice Center, which is going on its 28th year of being a community gathering space here in San Antonio. They recently hosted an exhibit on fracking called uh, uh You'll tell me what it's called, Graciela. Fracasso. <laughs> Portraits of Extraction in Eagle Ford and Beyond that included a series of workshops with um, Idle No More, um, the Eagle Ford Shale is a massive fracking project, and the flares burning off excess natural gas can be seen by satellite at night. Graciela Sanchez joins us uh, to talk about these and other developments here in San Antonio. It's great to be with you. Tell us about uh, Esperanza, which means hope. Esperanza was created, again, 28, 27 years ago. We'll be joining, become, get to that place at 28 in January. But it was our desire to, for some of these women of color who had gone away to school and come back and said, we want to live here in San Antonio, and we want to make sure that our lives are lived in for peace and justice. Um, we live in a city that's a military town, and we've been colonized for over 300 years with five military stations called the missions back in the 1700s and five military— We went to the Alamo last night. Right. And then five military stations in the 20th century. And even though the rest of the country has demilitarized de uh, San Antonio, hasn't. We've continued to grow in different ways. So we wanted to work for a culture of peace and justice rather than violence. What does fracking have to do with this? <laughs> well, again, it's the violence for our Mother Earth, Nuestra Tierra, <coughs> our land, our water, and our air quality. And for our local leaders, it's always about jobs, 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 and they're not caring at all about how it's really affecting the people who live in that community, and that means South Texas or the Panhandle area or— Explain what the Eagle Ford is and the fracking that's It's a sh an area that has shale and, pe you know, again, uh, We've got all these machines that come in and drill down into the earth, and the way they drill the shale that they need for this natural gas is to through pump, pumping water into, into you know, into the land and, it's and extracting, happening. and it's already happening. And it's, and, in, and there's a major growth in that community. So commu smaller rural communities like Carnes County um, that have no form of other development are just demanding these uh, jobs here, but it's affecting um, the quality of life. In yeah. fact, isn't this Dilly um, detention center that is being built, a 2,400-bed facility, an old workers' uh, camp for people who were fracking? Right, exactly. So, again, they're going to take the jobs however they come. It doesn't matter if it's hurting the community there, if it's hurting immigrant communities. What um, does fracasso mean? Fracaso means <laughs> it's a play on word, and I actually kind of came up with it, but it's like uh, everything's broken and, and falling apart, um, and, it, and it's extreme. And so we wanted to pull together community voices that, uh, to portray fracking. We, we did oral histories of people in South Texas. Um, right now, just, out, uh, just south of San Antonio, we have Calumet, and it's a refinery. And we, in the last five or six months, uh, we've seen those flares, but there have been fuel spillage. Um, last week there was a, a fire in Calumet, and none of the residents right here in San Antonio were made aware of the fire or the spillage. And this is—the spill went down to the San Antonio River, and this is a river that has just been fixed up, a lot of development in the south part of the river, and people have been playing in that river. People have been fishing on the, this river, and they're not even being told how Calumet is destroying that neighborhood. Well, Graciela, I want to thank you for being with us. Uh, we were showing images of the Esperanza Center uh, during the break, and people can go to our website at democracynow.org. Esperanza Center going into its 28th year as a community gathering space. Uh, Graciela Sanchez, thanks well, thank so you much. Very much. Um,